Welcome back to Quiz Place Stone Shard. On our last uh, on our last stream, we 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 tried a mace build a couple of times and we kept dying. So we're trying a spear build now. Uh, I'm gonna hopefully do better. We have a really good spear. We have a spear with a lot of damage and it has some block chance on it. And late game, there's actually a couple of spears with block chance. And I think I might want to lean into that a little. We have the passive and stuff already that provides block chance. Where is it? <clears throat> Excuse me. Here it's this one. Um, and I th there might be some other block chance in the tree. I don't know. Yeah, regroup. There we go. But um, so I might I might start going in for strength. Did these unlock with strength? Strength, edgy, vitality. This doesn't, but everything else it appears does. Yeah, literally everything else does. So we would we would have to buy the book for for this. If we if we swap over to strength now. Oh no, we'll we'll finish perception. I for, I thought we were a little higher level. Um, so we'll 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 get perception up to fifteen. But I think we're gonna go to strength after that. I think we're gonna start putting points in strength to unlock the tree, but also for the uh, the block chance that strength provides. I think that'll be really good for us. I think that'll actually be a uh, a notable and valuable change. So let's let's get to it. We're we're we've done like nothing. I think I don't think we've done like a single quest. Yeah, we haven't even done a single quest. Um, we've accepted it. We've accepted the first quest. Um, all right. So where are we? Where do we need to go to? Up here. And we went. Yeah, we went to the tier four over here. Checked this stuff out. I really like these paper maps. It's such a nice little change. It's such a good addition. It is so pleasant. It is so so pleasant. I like them quite a lot. It's just so nice having like the the stuff revealed instantly, and it looks cool. How you doing, Evid? Early morning stone shard stream, indeed, indeed, indeed. Hope you're well, Evid. Welcome on in. We've been we've been starting closer to eight most days now. So this has become a, a pretty regular start time for us. I still announced that we start at 9 a.m., but but I've been starting at eight most days. Hey, Ida, Fog Champion, Ida, how you doing? Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning. We're just we're just picking up right where we left off. We're just doing that the uh, the very basic quest, which again we have we have great gear for it. We have we have you know some some decent upgrades over the standard gear. We have some better gloves and a belt, and then we have this great weapon. The weapon goes so hard. Oh, we should have uh, we should have repaired it. It's 98 out of 150. It won't hopefully won't break like uh, midway through the uh, fight, <clears throat> the dungeon. It should live for, you know, uh, it should stay above half durability. For the whole dungeon, but maybe not. Maybe not. We'll see. And if, if it if it starts to break, I don't know. We could leave if we have to. There's time and stuff to go home, but I don't I don't think it'll break. I guess the dungeon could be huge. Is this my drunkenness potion? No, I think that was another character that had a potion of drunkenness. Was it even drunkenness? It might have been a potion of um. Might have been a potion of. I didn't put these skills in. What? I unlocked these, but I didn't put them on my hot bar. Might have been a potion of hunger that I'm thinking of as well. Uh, not a potion of drunkenness. I don't know why I didn't have those skills on my hotbar. That might have been a bug, or I could have maybe just forgot to put the skills in. I hope that I didn't, but I might have. I wasn't doing any combat yesterday. I was just I just ran to the uh, the tier four. So I may I may have forgotten to put my skills in, uh, but that's okay. We've got that sorted. All right, that was a good little cart right there. The a spool of thread and a rabbit pelt. Those are both really good. Okay. I mean, normally you're not level two, when, or at least I'm not level two when I'm doing this first dungeon. So we have a little bit more power than one might expect. We've already done the sword quest, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we don't need this. We, we might, you know, want to pick it up because there's no other loot. But I, I expect we'll get better loot than that. Okay. And actually some, some new gloves. These gloves are really good. Um... Three crit on gloves is like a lot. That's a that's a lot of crit chance just to get. So I'm okay with that. I'm quite okay with that. And it's, it's higher protection as well. They won't be the best protection like of all time. Like eventually they will. You know, I'll want some new gloves, but it's good for now. And again, we're we're relatively like um safe. Like we can fight without without taking that much damage just due to our immobilized chance and stuff like that. So some extra crit chance could be good. Could represent a lot of extra power for us. Um, okay, for cooldowns, I don't know if I really need to, but might as well. I probably don't need to. There's no point in that. But 
I, just, I suppose. I suppose. And we've lost one durability so far. Hopefully, we, oh, I think we'll be good. I think we'll be good, but hopefully we will. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Oh, we should be. I didn't mean to step in. Okay. And another thing I was thinking possibly, with the new will to fight changes, um, maybe, maybe trying to focus on body part damage could be like a plan. Um. Because like you you target their legs with with nail down, um, and it does it does like you know normal normal damage or oh no it actually has a little bit extra bonus uh, body part damage, um, but <clears throat> excuse me, I think trying to apply like like giving them like a broken leg like damaging their their legs or I mean any limb I guess but the the legs would be the easiest one for me to target over and over, um, breaking their legs could cause the enemies to to lose their will to fight more frequently. I think that could be a good idea. Like, there. See, I don't know. We did two wounds there. But, um... I think maybe if we if we really focus on body part damage, we could wound enemies a lot and cause them to run away really frequently. Uh, and that would continue to lean into our uh, our dream of, of, you know, being safe by, by just being, like, not having to, to actually melee enemies just by maintaining distance. So, I, I might try that. And I think strength gives body part damage. Yeah, at every fifth, at every fifth, like, point. Um, and then you can enchant body part damage on weapons as well. You, I mean, I you can just get it as a regular stat. But um, I'm going to try. You know, I mean, I don't know. It's just luck. But I'm going to try to get a body part damage on my weapon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Throat's a little rough this morning. And then also with strength. And I just want to see how how effective it is. I'm um, trying to like break people's legs and have them you know run away instead of instead of fighting. Hey, Killer Volt, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you're well today, Killer Volt. Hello, Nah, how are you doing? Stones hard, indeed, indeed. Uh, we can take that and sell it. Um, we might even just like wear it. Uh, it's only one extra protection. I'll just sell it. I'll take, I'll take the crit chance that this gives over the one protection of that. I think my ring gives crit as well. Yeah, Vilmir starts off with a fair bit of extra crit. But I hope you're well today, Nah. I hope you're well. Glad to see you. And it is a two-floor, so... Maybe, maybe the weapon will get broken, but we've only lost three durability so far. And we've done, like, I don't know, three-quarters of the first floor, so... I can't imagine we'll lose, like, 20 from the rest. Hope, thank you, and hope you're doing well. Yeah, I am as well. I am doing very well as well. Thank you very much for asking. Today is, today is quite a lovely day. It's a good, it's a good day to be playing Stone Shard. Yeah, they, they really they run like a lot. The will the will to fight like breaks down really easily. Maybe maybe it's just because they're low tier enemies. I don't know how it works on the uh, the higher tier enemies, but I, I think my my current plan is to try to um, abuse will to fight. I want I want to get like all the uh, the bonus or like free free turns in because they're running away. I want to only have to fight them for a short while before they just give up on life fighting me but the d doesn't matter he's a little dude with a little dagger he is not threatening i guess it's technically a sword not a dagger but either way he's not very threatening oh, i don't know why he got stuck in that door that was really weird he like stopped running that was that was very strange um i don't know i guess we'll get rid of the golden dag it's not worth more than than two hourglasses Ooh, two books that's really good i don't know what to get rid of um I mean, we'll probably throw this. Put these on. But then, I do I want to keep these gloves? How much are these gloves worth? I would want to keep the gloves, I think. So, I'll keep them on. Because these are just banged up, so they're not providing much right now. Um, I, wa I want this, though. We'll, we'll get rid of this, maybe. For, for this one. This is only... It only sells for, like, 20. But we'll come back for it later. On the way out. How about that? How about that? Disenchantment scroll. Don't really care for. Another book. Yeah, out of the backpack would be great. GGG'd. What? Who GG'd? I'm glad to hear it, though. Whoever GG'd, that's good. Had a good game. But it's too early to get the backpack, but I would I would love the backpack, because we, we have too much loot. I was hoping there would be more down here, so I could wait a while before I had to make this decision. Um, I don't know. I, just, I think this would be worth it. I don't think I want to get rid of it. Sorry, I was I moved my mouse to put my water down. Didn't mean to drag the screen like that. 
Uh, I guess we'll throw that down. I, just, I don't know. I don't know if the books... I know their written value is worth more, but these, these hourglass tend to sell for a larger percentage of their value. So I don't know which one is actually worth more, but we'll just send it. Oh, the guy who stood at the door is not running. Yeah, he just said GG. He said GG, go next. That, that, that makes a lot of sense. I was like, who could have GG? But that makes a lot of sense. That spirit. And I'm mostly looking for like a nice bottle, like a brandy or something. Whoa! Ah, dang it, the, the stream has officially started. Okay, the stream has officially started. Nice and early. That trap got me. That was a devious trap. I'll admit it's I can't even be mad. It was it was a very devious little trap. Okay, not bad. We gotta press zero. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of traps here. I'm glad I did. There's quite a few in this one room. Ooh, there we go. I got a bottle of alcohol out of it, at least. The little, the double stacks. I, I think that's the first alcohol I've gotten from a double stack, so happy with that. At least I know now that it's not all carrots and stuff. Trap's always here to listen. Yes, the traps are always here. No! I, fa I, I, I don't have any lockpicks. I failed on the door so many times that I'm out. That sucks. That's like the worst feeling. Now, if there's a treasure chest, I just, I literally can't open it. I just, I just don't have any lockpicks to open it. So that really sucks. Hey, good morning, Fuzzy Bear. Morning, morning, morning. Hope you're well, Fuzzy Bear. Welcome on in. Glad to see you this morning. Okay, and I'll take the bandage. Why not? I guess I'll just, like, throw that one down. I don't know why I did that. It doesn't matter. Like, I didn't, I didn't need the, the two empty spaces for something. So I should have I should have kept it for sure. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to step in. I immobilized him and then wasted it by stepping in. Do we have stuff on our offhand? No, I should pick up this golden dag and put it here then. Yeah, it's actually in decent condition too. Okay, where's the boss? Oh, there's a lot of area we haven't been on this this floor. Never mind. I was gonna be like we've been everywhere, but we haven't been much much of anywhere. <laughs> Do I have hard target? No, I can't. I can't have that on this character. This character is like brand new. I keep thinking this character is higher level. When I logged on this morning, I thought the character was level five for some reason. We've, just, we've had too many characters that keep dying. I say for some reason, but it's because it's because I died at level five over and over yesterday. And I don't have a lockpick. It's gonna it's gonna suck if this is a if there's a treasure chest like right there. There's no chest. Okay, let's go. Normally I'd be sad about no treasure chest, but I do. I don't want to not be able to open it, so feels feels good. Alrighty. So I I, ex I fully expect this character to make it. Uh, like, a, oh, dude, he just got killed by his own archer. That was so good. But I fully expect this character to make it a little longer than my other ones. So I'm really excited to see um what the what the new ghosts are like. I really have faith that we're gonna get there on this character. So. I'm very excited to see the new enemies and stuff. We haven't we haven't really been able to check them out, so that'll that'll be a good time. Okay, how hungry am I? I'm not that hungry. I'm just gonna eat the bread, and I need to actually get up and uh, cover my dog up. He's trying to he's trying to lay down. Sorry about the delay there. My little pupper just needed to be covered up. Okay, okay. I had to press the wrong button, threw it down. But he was just digging at his blankets, trying to get a, a comfy spot. I had to make him one. I couldn't let him just dig and not be comfy. Okay, we'll keep, we'll keep clicking. I should probably break the barrels more than I do. I break them like one in 10 dungeons, but they're, they're worth it to break. I really should. Um, I don't know. It's all it's all just books. We have too many books. They're they're all equally valuable. We have the the one open space. I guess actually. Well, depends what he gives me. I think he just gives chicken though. Yeah, he just gives food, which is fine, but not that special. 
Um, I was going to say maybe we could take a book instead of this, but I don't know. I think I'd rather have the food. That's more money than I'd get out of the book, so we'll do that. And then I'll take, of course, just the other spear point. And this just gives, like, a little bit of extra damage. Um, it actually gives body part damage, which is what I'm trying to lean into, so that works. That's actually not as bad as I was initially claiming. Hey, Don Fay, how are you doing? Welcome on in, Don Fay. Good morning, good morning. I know it might not, might not be morning for you, but good morning nonetheless. Good day. And we're tired. I didn't realize that. We should have slept before the dungeon. We were probably a little tired when we when we joined the dungeon, like on on route to it. Probably showed up with some some fatigue. So should have should have just slept earlier. Not a huge deal though. Doesn't doesn't really matter. Still missing Arna. May she rest in peace. Yeah, rip rip to Arna. We'll we'll do another Arna Arna build pretty soon. It's midday. Yeah, that's 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 kind of what I figured. That's the time it is most for for a lot of the folks in here. When I when I'm waking up, just starting the stream, it's it's already like the middle of the day for a lot of folks here. That is that is fully expected. Okay, yeah, nothing there. We already we already did that. Search those. Okay, this is this is a fine little dungeon. Wasn't that big for a two floor, I feel like. For being a two floor, I feel like we zoomed through it. I don't know, maybe that's just the good weapon. Maybe that's just the very first dungeon versus a uh, an already upgraded weapon. Maybe I zoomed through because my my weapon power. Oh, and we actually have a little left to do on the first floor. Okay. Go down there. This was this was good loot for for the first dungeon of the game, you know? Like this is really good. We took the, like as many books as we wanted, and I, I don't know which of these is better, a, a hundred value book or a forty value spool of thread. But we took as many books as I wanted. This this gear, you know, this is this is an upgrade, and this is stuff we can sell. So pretty good overall. Not not the best, but you know, above average for sure. Maybe not ten out of ten, but like eight out of ten, which is great. Okay, click these, and then let's get out of here. Let's skadoodle do. So I'm excited. I think we're gonna play a good few hours of uh, of Stone Shard this morning. I am excited for it. I really, I wanna, I wanna fight the new ga the new ghosts. How you doing, Winter? Welcome, welcome, welcome on in Winter. But I wanna, I wanna see the new content. I'm like, I'm pretty excited to look at it. So, so I think we'll play a lot of uh, a lot of Stone Shard today, so we can we can check out the new stuff. How's everyone doing? I'm doing really well. How are you doing? How are you doing, Winter? Hope all is well for you. Okay, and then we're just going. We're just going straight home, of course. Nothing too special here, just heading home. All right, we just gotta go straight down. I don't know why I went along the edge. We'll go a little farther in and then down. Go like that. It's a lot of reading material you got there, friend. Hmm? What? Oh, the books. I was, I was looking at like my Twitch chat. I was like, did someone spam like a huge message or something? But yes, we, we ended up with quite a few books. We left some behind, actually. We had even more. I would have liked that copper chain, but I don't want to fight the wolves for it. But yeah, we, we actually, we could have had even more. Am I good? I'm good, my dude. Had a little snag at work, but uh, but worked it out. Oh, let's go. Sorry to hear you had the, the snag to begin with, but I'm glad to hear you worked it out. That is good stuff. That's always good. I mean, a, a little snag at work is to be expected, though. And some really good ramen today. Let's go. Much more exciting than a, a little a little hiccup at work is some delicious ramen. I've always I've always wanted to eat ramen from a proper ramen shop. I've never I've never been to one. I don't think we have a like a ramen a ramen uh, restaurant in my in my city. I'm sad. We need one. Cause I've, I've of course had like you know ramen noodles from like a package or whatever, but. I've never had the good stuff. I've never had like real ramen prepared by a chef. It sounds like delicious, you know? I'm sure it's it's amazing. Oh, I need to sell those. That was, we picked those up. Oh, uh, this is the map we got when we started. Okay, I was like, why is this here? But that's when we started. Okay, is it 28 or 23? Yeah, and this isn't even the best place to sell this, so. A spool of thread is actually worth more than a, uh, a tier one book. Maybe not a tier one mage book though. The mage books sell for a little more. But a, a standard tier one book. Spool of Thread has a little more value than. Strangely enough, despite the Spool of Thread being worth 40 and the book being worth over 100, they actually sell for, for you know, reverse values. Um, 
need to share. The place I, w I, w I went to was, I think, the Chinese from the waiter to the cook. So let's go. Well, that's cool. I hope it was delicious. I mean, Chinese, though. Do, do, the, do the Chinese people, or does, does the Chinese culture, like, do they eat a lot of ramen? Is that even a, a food that is common in China? I'm, I'm, you know, I know they eat noodles and stuff, but I don't know if they if they eat ramen noodles that frequently. I just, I don't know. I've always, I've always associated it as a Japanese uh, cuisine, but I, I don't think it, I, I don't think it's actually like ancient yet. I think I remember learning it like the ramen noodles, like ex they didn't exist until like the fifties or something. Like it's a rather modern adaptation of a uh, food. I'd be from some tasty dumplings. Ooh, that sounds really good. Dumplings go really hard. I think I've said this before, but I love all dumplings. I love, like, American dumplings, like Western dumplings or whatever, like like chicken and dumpling soup. I love bao. I think they're delicious. Noodles in general are very Asian. Well, I, yes, yes, but I just, I you know, ramen noodles aren't aren't the same as, you know, other noodles. Uh, though I, I would agree that they are, you know, in general, noodles are a pretty, pretty Asian dish. But I just wasn't sure about ramen in particular. When we need a, we need a bed. We need to go to sleep. And we'll go to sleep and then get the quest. And we have enough meds, I think, to, to go back out there. Well, we'll refresh. Why not? Why not just stop up? Stop, you know, pop up. Pop down and stock up. I can't, I can't speak. But why not? All right, we'll sleep just a little. Same love all dumplings, fried, steamed, however you want to make them. I'll eat them. Yeah, they're just good. They're just good. They're, they're delicious. They're, it's truly, it's truly lovely. I, I love dumplings. I, I don't care how, what form they come in. They are, they are delicious. A couple of thing in ramen noodles that are, are handed, are, Oh, the cup, the cup noodle thing, and the ramen noodles that are handed the way they are are must be new. Oh yeah, well of course, like cup noodles and stuff is new, um, but I, I think I think the the like ramen noodles in general are new. Um, that they came after the war, so the stories I heard as if the food didn't spoil. That makes sense. That that makes a lot of sense. That that sounds like I mean a lot of things after after um, World War Two and stuff. There was a lot of uh, like processed food changes. Um, you know, a lot of technologies were discovered during the war and such that were then taken advantage of for, for more civilian needs in the in the uh, following years. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like I need something else. I feel like I'm lacking, but I don't think I'm actually lacking. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. All right, let's get out of here. Notice how they're prepared or new. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And ramen just means pulled noodles. I don't. I, don't, I didn't know that. I was. I. I don't know. I don't know where I learned it, but I always. I always was told. Um. I don't. Know, I say I always was told. I don't know. But it, it's somewhere. Someone. Maybe a show or something told me that that ramen was new. But maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. If it just means pulled noodles, I can't imagine that's new. All right. We'll take this and then next task. We're going on a beer run, chat. We're going on an old B-double-E-double-R-U-N beer run. But we are. We are indeed going. We're going to the brewery. Um, and this time, we won't We won't die directly afterwards. Tip ordered from Chinese. And I'm not going to try to read that. Um, that's cool. That is cool. I wouldn't have guessed. I knew. I know uh, China in, like loans a lot of the words to other languages. Um, like other Eastern languages take a, a lot of loan words from the Chinese language, but I did not know that uh, ramen noodles were like I didn't know the word was from China or from the Chinese language at least. Um, I see you're not fond of the elder. And then hey about war. And then press press one like a million times and we're free. Okay. So now we can we can save the brewery. We don't have to kill them, we can save them. And we, as, as I mentioned this yesterday, um, but because we have this nice weapon, I don't need to worry about buying one from Bryn right away. So, we can use all of our money that we get from the beer run and stuff like that to, uh, to just buy armor. We don't, we don't need to worry about buying gear at all, or buying a weapon at all. So, we'll, we'll be able to get nice armor. And I don't want to change my gloves, again, for now. Um, I'll change them eventually, but I don't want to get the five extra protection, give up the three crit for that, so... We'll buy a uh, chest piece and boots, and then we'll have decent gear everywhere. Again, no amulet still, but other than that, we'll have decent gear everywhere. Origin ramen is traced back to Yokohama, Chinatown in the early 20th century. Also, this I did not know. Okay. That is cool. So, yeah, I guess, maybe, it, maybe it is not that old. That's, we're, we're going back and forth, but, yeah, it's, it seems it's, it's, it is relatively new. 
That is that is indeed some nice knowledge history. Some knowledge history, some history knowledge. That's some of that knowledge history right there. I don't know. Um, oh, and we might we might stream some Tarkov today. I don't know though. I've been I've been playing a little bit recently. You know, we we started playing like a week or two ago, but I every time I play, I just die. I just literally die. Like I just load in and just instantly die to someone. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if I'm cut out for this man. So we may or may not stream some Tarkov today. I don't know. We'll have to see. But maybe, maybe, maybe. I, Tarkov, I like. I want to enjoy the game. I want to enjoy the game. But it's just everyone is so sweaty. Like there's, there's everyone is just they're they're so good. They're all trying so hard with meta kits, and they just like will hide in a corner for like half an hour if they need to, which is like fine. I'm not mad at them, but. Please just chill, man. I just want to play. So I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's tough. We got. We got to start at the uh, at the beginning of a wipe for sure. Like we gotta. We gotta begin with everyone else. That'll. That'll make the game a lot more fun. Cause I don't know. I'm really struggling with it. But the wipe's already like a month in. So all the all the gamers have already become like super chads, and then all the the casuals have already left. So it's tough. Oh, let's get the let's get the chest here. Uh, in 1958, instant noodles were invented by Momofuku Ando, the Taiwanese-Japanese founder and chairman of Nissin Foods. Probably a huge company. <laughs> if they invented noodles, that's probably like a trillion. I don't have lockpicks. I don't have lockpicks for either one. We can just get them on the way back, I guess. That's so upsetting. We'll just unlock them later, but I'm dumb. Whatever. Let me go back and reading that message, though. Um, named the greatest Japanese invention of the 20th century in a Japanese bowl. That's so funny. Uh, instant Robin allowed anyone to make an approximation of this dish simply by adding boiled water. Jar heading takes away the fun away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, I, I, I don't mind try-harding. Like, I, I try as hard as I can every time I'm doing anything, you know? Like, gaming-wise, at least. Maybe not, like, all the time in real life, but I'm always trying, like, as hard as I can in games. But I just, I just wish people weren't, like so into it I wish there were more like casual gamers playing dark it's just it's just I just need to start with uh, the start of the wipe that's the problem that's the real issue is that everyone everyone that is a casual gamer has like washed out and and the you know most of the gamers that are there they've had a lot of you know they've put a lot of time into the the season so they have a lot of great gear and stuff so I don't know but we I still I have like that really good m1a it's like an incredible gun I will never kill him can't chase him um, and like a tier six armor and stuff. So I want to use that at least before we before we give up on Tarkov. If we are gonna give up, I want to at least use my my good stuff. Be less casual. No worries. We glue you to your chair. Um, I shouldn't try to fight these guys. If you start getting weak and want to touch grass, I'm a grass toucher. I must touch the grass. Um, yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna fight, but that would, that would, that would be a bad. This, that would, that's how you get characters killed. So we're gonna kite, and we're, we're probably gonna get like two or three of them because I waited too long to begin kiting. I let them get closer. So that's just two. That's not bad. Two is, two is manageable. Just I think this one was already weak. I think I damaged that one already. So okay, then I'm gonna go up this way, even though we went down like slightly to the left, to hopefully get a little bit of more room between me and the enemies. And then I can maybe pull one or two again, not all three. If I pull all three, I pull all three. It is what it is, but I don't want to. I would prefer to just pull two. Okay, we did. Let's go. So it was two 2v1s and then one 1v1 at the end. So that's fine. This was this was totally safe. And we need a little bit of rhubarb in our life, so we'll take it. But yeah, so maybe, maybe a little turkey. Maybe a little turkey later on. But like I was saying, I want to play a lot of Stone Shard today, so it'll it'll be later for sure either way. And we'll probably play Elden Ring too. So if we do play Tarkov, it'll be in many hours. But I don't know. I don't even know if we're gonna play. Still like 50-50 on that. It's just I I don't wait. I've already been here. Let's go. I I don't have to I don't have to come back here because I already went here. That is so good. But uh but I don't. Tarkov's one of those games where I like I I enjoy the idea of it like more than actually playing it. I think. Like when I think about Tarkov, I'm like, I want to play it so bad. It's like, it's, it's like, it's so like, like it seems so good. And then when I actually play it, I'm like, ah, it's not really as fun as I was looking forward, you know? So I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's weird. How's the new patch? It's really good so far. 
Um, I died a lot, so I haven't really been able to look at the new skellies. Sip of water. Thank you. Thank you. I haven't really been able to look at too many new enemies. Um, but we've done some skeleton dungeons, and they're really cool with the, the new necromancers and stuff, like the new spells the necromancers cast. Um, having ghasts in dungeons is such an insane change that's so terrifying. And the paper maps are beautiful. I love the paper map edition. Um, they really, really added that in very well. Hydrate my dudes and dudettes. Yes, everyone. Hydrate up. Hydrate up. Thank you for the, uh, the posture check. Hey, everybody. Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.